Molt bé, bon vespre. Benvinguts a l'Institut d'Estudis Catalans. Welcome to the Institute of Catalan Studies. Founded in 1907, the Institute is the Academy of the Catalan Language, an, an academic and scientific institution whose aim is to do research in all areas of the science and the humanities. The Institute has been a member of the International Academic Union since uh, 1922 and from the earlier since uh, 2014, uh, three years ago. The Institute fosters the coordination, cultivation and diffusion of scientific research in the different areas of science and technology, as well as in the humanities and the social, social sciences, especially within its area of direct competence, which we call Catalanistics, that is language, culture, and historical, artistic, and natural heritage. The Institute inspires several programs for the development of society and advises public officials and academic institutions on important issues of public concern. The Institute looks after linguistic, lexicographic, syntactic, and other aspects of the Catalan language, of which the Institute is the official academy. The lexicographical services of the Institute include the official dictionary of the Catalan language, the grammar, uh, the grammar is a bestseller uh, those days, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the orthography of the Catalan language, as well as several other linguistic services. The historical territories having Catalan as its language uh, encompass Catalonia, Valencia, the Balearic Islands, and a part of Aragon in Spain, the Roussillon in France, the state of Andorra, and the enclave of Alghero in Sardinia, Italy. Catalan language and culture is therefore distributed over four European states. The Institute is composed of five divisions, which total about 200 members, plus about 50 corresponding members. It has 28 affiliated scientific societies, which cover most areas of human knowledge. One of these societies is the Catalan Society of Mathematics, uh, one of the promoters of this uh, uh, meeting. The Institute and the, uh, each scientific uh, societies count over 10,000 active members, 40 different journals and book series in science, technology, the humanities and social sciences are regularly published under his uh, imprint. The majority in Catalan, but also in English and other languages. The Institute of Catalan Studies regularly carries out research seminars and conferences, maintains scientific services for research, and is an active partner of several research centers. One of these is the Center for Mathematical Research, which the Institute created more than three decades ago and which now has an independent and very active life. One of my predecessors at the Institute Presidency was a mathematician, Professor Manuel Castellet, who is here uh, among us, uh, who is also a very active member of the Institute and Professor Marta Sanz Soler, former president of the European Society of Mathematics, is a current member of the Abil Committee and also of the Institute. Uh, so you will easily understand that the Institute is proud to host meetings like this one, the Evan Abel in Barcelona, that is the meeting of the Abel Committee on behalf of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. I am grateful for the choice of Barcelona and the Institute by the Abel Committee and the Norwegian Academy. And I wish you a fruitful meeting and also a rewarding stay in our Institute and uh, in our beautiful Barcelona city. The Norwegian Academy is older than the Institute exactly by 50 years. It was founded in uh, 1857. We have had several contacts, both directly and through the UAE and the ALEA Union of Academies, and its Secretary General, Professor Oivin Anderson, has been among us in several academic occasions, uh, the last one, uh, one month ago. I'm very happy to welcome for this occasion Professor Ol uh, Seierstedt, President of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, 
also Mrs. Mr. Lars Andersen, Councillor Minister of the Norwegian Embassy, Mr. Jordi Baget, Minister of Business and Knowledge of the Catalan Government, and all the authorities and colleagues present today at the Institute Venue. Allow me a final consideration, perhaps not very scientific, but in which maths and numbers have much to do. Norway became independent from Sweden in 1905. Catalonia is trying to become independent of Spain. And for that, a previous step is a consultation, a referendum that definitively establishes if what for years has been manifested peacefully by the Catalan citizenship in the street and all over the country stays in the polls. The Institute of Catalan Studies is one of many political, civic, and academic institutions that support the right to decide and be able to manifest it in a binding referendum. We would like Catalonia to be, in the future, the Norway of the Iberian Peninsula. Welcome to all of you, and enjoy the reception hosted by the Norwegian Embassy. Thank you. I think it's here. Uh, minister, President of Institut de Studies uh, Catalans, Excellencies, distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Norwegian Embassy for hosting this reception on the occasion of the meeting of the ABL Committee here in Barcelona. The meeting of, meetings of the ABL Committee are closed um, and uh, very secret. Uh, will be hold, held tomorrow and the day after here at, uh, at the Institute in Barcelona. And thank you for providing meeting space for the committee for its final meeting, where the 2017 laureates will be decided. Laureate or laureates, we don't know that. Uh, I will be informed uh, about the result in March, and then I'll announce the winner, the Abel Prize Laureate in 2017, on March the 21st in the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters in Oslo. A special thank uh, to the 2015 Abel Laureate, Louise Nierenberg, um, who gave a talk earlier today at the Abel in Barcelona. It has become a tradition that the ABEL Committee's final meeting, where they reach their decision on who to award the ABEL Prize, is hosted at the Norwegian Embassy or Consulate. It started in Paris in 2004. Uh, meetings have since been arranged in major cities in Europe, Asia, and the US. And now it's hosted here um, by the IEC in Barcelona. It is important for us to highlight <coughs> the Abel Prize and the work we do for mathematics internationally. We think it has great value for Norway to project this effort. The Abel Prize was created by the Norwegian government in 2002 in memory of the Norwegian mathematician Nils Henrik Abel. The Abel Prize is a prize for outstanding scientific merits in mathematics, and it's a recognition of scientific contributions of exceptional depth and significance in this discipline. Nils Henrik Abel, he was born in 1802. At that time, Denmark and Norway were one united kingdom. The university was in Copenhagen. Norway got its own university as late as 1811. In fact, in many ways as a result of the Napoleonic Wars. Nils Henrik Abel became a student in 1821. At that time, the still young university in Norway offered only profession-oriented studies of theology, medicine, and law, and no degree in the natural sciences. Abel therefore studied on his own. In 1825, Abel started on his great journey to the learned cities of Europe. He came to Paris in July 1826 and he reported home. At last, I have arrived at the focal point of all of my mathematical hopes. 
And there in Paris, Abel wrote his outstanding work called the Paris Treatise. Unfortunately, the Paris Treatise was never recognized in Abel's lifetime. In just a short period of time, the Abel Prize <clears throat> has become one of the most prestigious international prizes in mathematics, with members from many different countries nominated by the key international mathematics organizations, the Abel Committee, by their well-considered selection of Abel laureates, deserves much of the honor for the recognition that the prize has attained. I would again like to thank the prize committee chaired by Professor Jon Rognes for this important and demanding work. Thank you. Uh, the Abel Prize will be awarded by His Majesty uh, the King of Norway in the U University of Aula in uh, Oslo on Tuesday, March 23rd. There will be lectures and several activities related to the prize during the Abel Week. We hope to see many of you in Oslo. As tokens of uh, our appreciation of this reception, I would like to give uh, Lars Andersen, Minister Councillor at the Norwegian Embassy in Spain, and the President of the Institute, Professor Jean Domenech Ross, the biography of Abel, and the Minister, Mr. Jordi Bege, a book about Norway. So, Well, thank you for um, uh, inviting us here today. I'm uh, Lars Andersen from the Norwegian Embassy here in Madrid. I have uh, Lotte Tollefsen as well, who's uh, behind here with me from the Embassy and uh, also representatives from the Consulate uh, next to her. Um, dear Dr. Juan Dominic Ross, uh, Ole M. Seierstedt, I uh, Jordi Bajet, uh, and distinguished uh, members of the ABLE Committee, ladies and gentlemen. Bon anit i ben vinguts a aquesta recepció. That was the best I could do in Catalan. I speak uh, some, somewhat better Castellano. Um, I hope you've all had a successful uh, meeting and uh, symposium here in Barcelona. Uh, today, uh, I understand that this is the first time the committee in uh, meet in Spain, uh, and also that it's the first time that you uh, have the uh, meeting, the uh, symposium, and the reception at the same place. Um, and all of this thanks to Professor Marta Sanz uh, Soleil and uh, and uh, also Dr. Ross. So uh, thank you all for organizing uh, this event. The um, Norwegian Embassy is very proud to be hosting this reception for the ABLE Committee uh, in uh, Barcelona. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm certainly no theoretical mathematician myself, but uh, I um, do understand the importance of mathematics. And um, I don't think that the importance of mathematics can ever be overestimated. It is um, the foundation of our civilization and technology and uh, it makes our life orderly and prevents chaos. That's, uh, that's a quote, actually. But uh, mathematics is the cradle of all creations. Um, without it, the world cannot move an inch. Everyone needs mathematics in their day-to-day -day life. It has been said that even insects use mathematics uh, in their everyday life for existence, although mankind's exceptional capacity for pattern recognition is certainly the basis uh, for science of, uh, of the science of mathematics. It could also be argued that uh, mathematics is the true common language of our civilization. Indeed, maybe uh, the uh, universal language of the universe itself. 
what we certainly do need in our age, I think, is uh, better mutual understanding, and the mathematics can hopefully contribute to that. We are happy, very happy to um, uh, that um, the ABLE committee has uh, arrived here in Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona is not only an ancient center for trade and um, uh, education, but also a very popular destination for Norwegian uh, citizens. Uh, suffice to say that uh, 1.5 million Norwegians come to Spain every year and many of them find their way to, to Barcelona. For a country with a population of roughly 5 million people, this is quite extraordinary. It means that uh, Spain is the country uh, second most visited by Norwegians in the world after Sweden, which is just next door. So uh, <laughs> we don't be surprised to find Norwegians around the, uh, in Spain. Um, there's also a strong increase of Spaniards going to Norway. Uh, not only are we visiting each other as tourists, but uh, we share cultural expressions, knowledge and research, study each other's, at each other's universities, and we do business together, selling our goods and services to each other. One example is that uh, if you eat salmon in Spain, it is more than 90% 90% uh, probability that it is a Norwegian salmon. The connections between Spain and Norway are many and uh, multifaceted. Uh, we find uh, joint collaborations on everything from green energy, tunnel construction, architecture, nanotechnology, uh, to shrimp farming. And the traditional trade of Norway, selling fish to Spain and receiving wine, olive oil, and ham in return, has certainly been uh, supplemented by much more sophisticated collaboration and integrated economic cooperation. And we're happy, very happy to see that. I wish you all success in um, identifying the ABLE Prize Laureate for 2017. It will, we will follow it with uh, excitement and uh, in that day in March, on the 23rd of March, it was. And uh, I hope you all have a pleasant stay here in Barcelona. Thank you so much for your attention. I'd, I'd like to have the word, take the word here off the record because I want to follow up what the Minister Councillor just said about the links between Barcelona and uh, Norway because the house that we have, that the academy in Norway has, was built by a rich Norwegian and his name was uh, Hans-Henrik Astrup and he made his fortune in Barcelona. He was trading uh, cod and timber uh, back in the 19th century, early 19th century and based on that fortune, he came back to Oslo and built this wonderful house where we now have the offices of the Academy. <laughs> I just wanted to inform you about that. That's bad as well. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Joan Domènech Cruz, President of the Institute of Swiss Catalans. Señor Lars Andersen, ministro consejero de la Embajada de, la Embajada de Noruega, doctor Ole Sejerstedt, president of the Norwegian Academy of Science and, and Arts, Mr. Luis, Luis Nirenberg, uh, winner of the Abel Prize of 2015, doctora Marta Sanz, Membre de l'Institut d'Estudis Catalans, Matemàtica i membre de l'Abel Committee, secretària d'Afers Exteriors de la Generalitat, director executiu de la GAUR, doctor Castellet, consul de Noruega, doctor Pasqual. Senyors i senyors, sigueu molt benvinguts. Good evening, everyone. For me... It's a pleasure to participate in this ceremony, ceremony Abel in Barcelona and the symposium held through the day with the aim of promoting math and uh, the, the Abel Prize. 
Also, thanks to Norwegian Embassy, the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, the Institute of Studies Catalans, and the Societat Catalana de Matemàtiques, for the work to make today's event possible. We also want to thank the participation of today's lecturers who at, and especially uh, as well as Dr. Marta Sansole, professor at the University of Barcelona, a member of the committee who proposed to hold the annual symposium in Barcelona. The will of the Abel Prize and its commission is to make visible the role of mathematics in the whole uh, society, especially among young people, and to encourage scientific and technological vocations. This is a very appropriate work to do in Catalonia and through Europe in general, as what we need is talent. Our young people are lucky because we are in a moment of change, a radical change. Conditions are changing. Uh, the, envir the environment changes. The product uh, are also changing. There's, there are changes in competition and in markets, and there are many things to do and to hit. And the young people will certainly be the protagonist. There are things that are not very clear, but there is one thing we do know for sure. Unlike previous changes, the speed of current developments has no historic precedence, and these changes announce transformation in the way we live, the way we work, the way we learn, and how we relate with others. In short, we are entering in a new phase that will require new skills, where engineering and mathematics will have a very important role. It is not casual that the Avil Prize, which recognizes scientific work in the field of mathematics, are a reality from this century. Mathematics are applied in computer science, in physics, in economy, in fighting diseases, in short, virtually in all disciplines, and in a key aspects in which economic growth is based these late years. That's why in this legislature in Catalonia, research and innovation have joined the industry to create the potential both elements represent to go towards an economy based on knowledge and the development of initiative activities of high value added. Making research and innovation the driving force for the economic progress in the country is key to contributing to sustainable and inclusive development. This is our commitment as a country because we want to be part of the group of countries that help changing the world, not only follow the others. In this context, events like this conference, Able in Barcelona, are important for science, but also for the government of Catalonia, which committed to research and innovation as a means for social and economic growth of the country. Again, thank you for the invitation to today's event, and I hope that we can meet again on other occasions. You will see. This is one of the coldest days in our winter and we are doing this event outside and you will stay here I hope it's not very cold but this is Barcelona this is the Barcelona climate and we have a, a lot of work to do in sense as Mr. John Domana Gross has said we have to this year we have a uh, and a huge work to do. We want to vote and want to vote in order to decide or to decide our future. That's that is what we want. The democracy will win and I hope you will stay with us a lot of times. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have the Evil Committee here in Barcelona. Thank you.